はい、えー、っと私はこれまでに関わったすべてのプロジェクトで、えー、とりあえず参加しています、えー、最も時間をかけるのも使用実装と調整です In all of the games I've worked on so far, I've been responsible for the design of the player character. Implementing the design spec for the player character and then adjusting it is what I spend more time on than anything else by far. And the reason I spend so much time on it is that Mr. Miyamoto has taught me that if the player character does not feel right, this can affect the player's appreciation of the whole game. プレイヤーができることが一つ増えれば、選択肢が増えて、遊びの幅は広がるんです。And the more things a player can do, the more choices a player has, and the greater the range of play expands. では、スーパーマリオブラザーズで考えてみましょう。Let's think about this point using Super Mario Brothers as an example. もし、マリオにジャンプというアクションがなかったら、What if Mario did not have the ability to jump in this game? Even the lowly Goomba would be unstoppable. That's no fun at all. So let's go back to the world where Mario can jump. Finally, he's jumping again. And at the same time, this is the point where the idea of breaking blocks becomes possible. Not only that, but the idea of stomping enemies as well. This is how several new and connected possibilities open up when the player learns one new ability. しかし同時に A ボタンを押すという操作が増えました、えー、ちょっと複雑になってしまいましたね But at the same time, the controls have expanded to include the A button That represents a slight increase in complexity この面白さと操作の複雑さとのバランスを取ることがまさにプレイヤー設計なんです Player-based design is all about designing the right balance of fun and complexity with the player first in mind ですからプレイヤーの設計はとても重要なものと考えています、えー、こだわりの基礎仕様なのです That's why I consider player-based design to be so important and that's why we have to be so particular about getting it right さて、この他にもプレイヤーと同じくこだわっているものがあります So, I'd like to tell you about a few other things that we pay special attention to besides just the design of the player character 当時、宮本はこう話していました I once heard Mr. Miyamoto remark that the greatest appeal of working on 3D games is the camera. Cameras allow developers to do things from several angles in real time, opening up new development concepts that were not available in the NES and SNES space. それよりすごいことは、見る角度や距離、動きを変えることで、ゲームの遊びそのものを簡単に変えてしまう、まあ、自由な力を持っていたことです。But even more amazing than that is the ease and freedom with which you can change gameplay itself simply by changing the viewing angle, distance, and movement of the camera. マリオ六十ではその遊びに適したカメラはってどうなのか、えー。ゲームの内容に合わせてカメラのアルゴリズムを考えるようになりました。During the development of Mario 64, we had to ask ourselves, what kind of camera is best suited to this gameplay? While we thought about camera algorithms and game content at the same time. Thinking about the camera is game design too. When we were working on Mario 64, we thought of several camera types. The camera. 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 The camera.
The first is the parallel camera. It is the most simple camera design, capable of viewing Mario from varying distances and angles. Next is the tower camera. You can use this one when the camera needs to follow Mario on a tall structure like a tower or a mountain. The camera can scroll horizontally around while Mario climbs. The follow camera is last. We call it that just because it follows directly behind Mario. The Legend of Zelda mostly uses this camera to give an example. There are other camera types as well for when Mario is flying or swimming. This is how we designed Mario 64 to take advantage of the greatest merit in working in 3D, the camera. Super Mario 64 allowed the player to explore the plains and mountains of the miniature world. This exploration presented a wonderful feeling of surprise, much like the way I used to find so many surprises in the miniature gardens in a box that one sees in Japan. Mr. Miyamoto and I both enjoyed ourselves greatly making the game. This experience was something I carried over directly to The Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of Time. <coughs> With Zelda, we tried to make a movie you could touch, including scenery that changed with time and a setting that let you feel the natural rhythms of people getting up and going to work in the morning, or of certain creatures coming out only at night. In Super Mario Sunshine, we wanted to create a town <coughs> bathed in sunlight reflected from clear ocean water. We imagined a large island water park that really made you feel like you were on vacation. We wanted to bring out in every screen the fun of exploring the miniature garden I mentioned earlier in 3D. But even creating a miniature garden can have its own difficulties and battles behind the scenes. 